We're with Joe Lovano here on Jazz Street. Joe, welcome back to Rochester. Hey, it's so beautiful to be here. I'm so happy to be playing some music and here at the Rochester Festival, man. One of the hippest festivals there is. So talk about your project, Garden of Expression. People really have been drawn to it in the way you're sounding in the group interaction. Talk about it for you. Well, you know, this trio, I call Trio Tapestry because that's what it is. It's three of us playing in an organic fashion through my compositions and trying to um, weave sounds and feelings together. Rhythms that emerge, uh, melodies that are uh, melodic rhythm in nature, harmonies that come from melodies and, and the inner beats that are happening. And with no bass, giving the momentum that a bass usually does in every band, we have to create that momentum uh, between us. So it's a different experience for the audience, for people listening and hearing and feeling what we're doing. And uh, for us to create some inner music within the music is the beauty in, in jazz. Jazz is an idea about how to play together. And every situation has a different um, energy and there's different gravity in every kind of music that drives you to be inventive within that music. And I'm um, really so happy to be playing with Marilyn Crispell on piano, Carmen Castaldi on drums. And this is our, uh, I, I guess we're in about a seventh, eighth year playing together. We have three releases on ECM records, Trio Tapestry, Garden of Expression, and Our Daily Bread, which is uh, the current release. So we have a lot of repertoire to draw from. <laughs> It's fun. Speaking with Joe Lovato, Joe, give us an idea. What was it like for you growing up in Cleveland? Well, my dad was one of the leading saxophonists around town. So I grew up in a real jazz household and family. He was born in 1925. And uh, just to give you an example, Charlie Parker was born in 1920. Miles and Coltrane, 26. Max Roach, 24. So he was in that generation. And he was playing on the scene uh, during the late 40s. And he heard Charlie Parker live. He heard Lester Young. He played with the Lionel Hampton band when he would, they would come through and, and have local cats fill out the s sections, you know. Uh, so I grew up with his records and his love for the music. And uh, it was a very informative young life growing up and trying to develop a sound on my horn and learn the repertoire. All of the musicians in my dad's generation were my mentors and teachers. And uh, that gave me a lot of uh, foundation and it got me on the road playing in bands. I came through Rochester when I was uh, in my late teens, early 20s with some groups and uh, I'm happy to be back right now again. Speaking with Joe Lovano, Joe, what was it like being part of the herd that you, when you were there in that group, being 21, 22, and that world with Woody Herman? Well, thanks for that question. Uh, there was a great saxophonist named Joe Romano from De Rochester, who I met when my first time coming here. He was playing a gig, and uh, I had my horn. I went, I sat in with him, we met. That was around 1972 or three. Then I moved to New York in 76. Joe was around New York, so we had a reacquaintance, played again together. He got the call to go on back on the road with Woody. He was in Woody's band in the 60s with the great Sal Nestico, who was from Syracuse. That was a real famous band in the 60s with Woody. Anyway, Joe didn't want to go back on the road, and he said, call this young man, and I got a phone call. Uh, I flew out to um, St. Louis and joined the band. Mm. And uh, that was Woody's 40th anniversary year. So I found myself playing a number of concerts with Stan Getz and Flip Phillips and Zoot Sims and Al Cohn and 
Jimmy Jufri, all four brothers. Yeah, the the stars of the early bands. You know, Woody put that was a celebration that year. So uh, it was a thrill, man, and to have Woody's embrace and to actually play my part on Early Autumn with Stan Getz playing lead at 23 was uh, was a springboard for everything for me, you know. So um, I stayed on the band almost three years, 76 to seven, through 79, you know. And during that time, I acquired a, a loft in New York City, and uh, it, was, it was an amazing period at early times, you know. Speaking with Joe Lovato here on Jazz 90.1. Joe, again, welcome back to Rochester. So happy you're here and can't wait to hear you play. Thank you, sir. We're going to have some fun. I hope some folks come out and enjoy the festival. It's amazing. I want to say hello to John Nugent, who's a close friend. And uh, he's done a, an amazing uh, thing about sharing the blessings with people. man, And that's what it's all about, sharing the blessings. And creating a festival like this for everybody is, is phenomenal, man.